Hey everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. Well, most of the user enjoy their PC laptop with the basic knowledge and feature they get from the Windows. But what if you can add more powerful features like always on top, finding your mouse, image resizer, mouse highlighter, and many more things for absolutely free with the safe application. Yes, I'm talking about a very powerful tool offered from the Microsoft that is the Power Toy. So in order to download it, you can click on your Windows search, type here, store, click on Microsoft Store, click on the search box, type here, Power Toys, and hit the enter key. And you will be getting the first link here, Microsoft Power Toy. I have already installed it, so it shows me install, but on your end, it might be give you an option of get or download or install. So you need to go ahead and install it. All right. And once it gets installed, you will be getting this kind of dashboard. And on the left hand side, you can see it down the dashboard section only you get all the features here that you can enjoy. So I will take you through with the most popular one that can be really useful for you. And I will start with the always on top option. Now, many times it happens that you are working on a specific application like on any kind of Excel document. And if you bring up the notepad and if you want to type anything at the same period of time, so as soon as you click on on the back application, you will find that the notepad get disappeared. And again, you have to bring it up in order to type anything, right? So that's really taking a lot of time and not even convenient. But now what you can do, if you bring up the power toy and then you have to use that shortcut key that is a window control and T. So now I will select it, press window control and the T key. And you will find that a borderline has been created at the a very corner of that particular application. Now, even if I click on any of the application, you will find that the notepad is not getting disappeared and it will be always remaining on the top. So now what I can do, I can drag this. Now I can click on this application. I can read anything. Then I can type here at the same period of time without getting this minimized. So really amazing. And this will be saving a lot of time, make it more convenient, especially if you do any kind of typing work, then you will be getting some extra benefit here. Now, in order to cancel it, again, you have to press window control and T and always on top feature will be disabled. All right. And now next we have the awake option. And if you click on it and it says enable awake. Now, how exactly this will be helping you many time while setting your computer in a sleep mood or setting many kind of power options. You might have seen that your PC is going in the hibernate. It's going in the sleep mood. It's always getting disabled, but there comes a time when you want that your PC or laptop should never go uh, in the sleep mood, uh, especially if you're using any kind of application like team and you want that your PC should always show you online, then you have to come to this option and just enable it. That's it. And it will disable all the power behavior option that has been set on your windows. Now, next, I'm not going through with all of them, but you will find there are many useful feature. Now, next, I can talk about find my mouse. Again, a very useful feature. And if you click on it, it shows the activation method. Press left control twice. Now, what happened many times your cursor get disappeared. You're not sure where exactly it is. So in order to find out, you need to press the control key twice. At the moment you click, you can see that it automatically detect my mouse and create a a circle around it so I can easily find it out right very useful feature and next again related to the mouse only you also get the mouse highlighter option and if you click on it and scroll down you will find the mouse highlighter option you just need to enable it and the activation shortcut key is Windows shift and edge now what will happen if you make any kind of tutorial videos or if you are a teacher or if you want to create any kind of presentation and if you want to highlight any of your work then press window shift and edge key from your keyboard. And once you click, now you will find that when I click and hold the left key from my mouse, there is a highlighter created here. And wherever I want to take, you can see it's highlighting that particular uh, place. And this can be really useful if you are doing the teaching, you are creating a presentation and in order to focus anything, you can use this kind of highlighter. Even you get many options here, like uh, you can change the primary button color highlighter. You can change the color from yellow to red. And the next time you will find that it shows me the red color. And for the right key, it shows me blue color. Even you can change this from here. If you want to adjust the radius, I can simply click on the radius here and increase it. And you will see that it's uh, increasing the radius here. 
So if you need the bigger highlighter, then you can use this one. And if you need a smaller one, then you can reduce the size of the radius. So again, a very useful feature that you can enjoy. Next, we have the image resizer. And if you click on it, and here you just need to enable this option. Now what will happen? The next time when you bring up any of your file, let's say if I have this PNG file here, and if I right click on it, and go to the properties, so you can see currently its size is 688 KB. All right, but now when you make a right click on it, you will find a new option here, resize with image resizer. So if you click on it, now you can resize this image, whether you can reduce it or you can increase it. Now, how this can be helpful to you? There are many places, there are many applications, many kind of website where you have to upload the images, but it doesn't accept the exact size and it asks you to reduce it or it asks you to increase the size of that particular image. So for that, you go to many kind of website, you use many kind of tool, but now you don't have to do that. Just make a right click here. Then it gives you the suggestion you want to make it smaller. So yes, I want to make it smaller. So I will select a small or either you can go with a medium and then you have to click on resize. Now you will find a new image has been created here and the size has been reduced to 238 KB. And earlier it was around 687 KB. And you can see that how quickly it works without having any kind of problem. So this way you have created a new feature on your windows where you can easily resize your image. All right, and now the last feature that I will share with you is the Power Toy Run. I really like it. So click on it, just enable this option and the activation shortcut key is Alt plus space. Now how this will help you? Just press Alt plus space from your keyboard and it will quickly bring up this kind of run box where you can type anything, where you can search anything, very similar like the Mac operating system. And it looks really cool. It works very fast. Whatever you want to type, just type here. It will give you all the suggestions, all kind of files on your computer. And you can quickly search here. You can easily browse to the location and you can open it. So that's all guys for today. And hopefully now you can understand that how exactly you have made your Windows PC more powerful by adding these kind of amazing feature for absolutely free. And if you really enjoyed the video, guys, make sure that please hit the like, subscribe, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.